Dear students, I am your biology teacher. Hope everyone is fine and enjoying good health. We are continuing chapter 2 that is reproduction in plants. Listen the lesson attentively and note down important points discussed. Dear students, the learning objectives of today's lesson. A review of previous lesson cloning in plants. What are natural clones? What? Are artificial clones pros of cloning cons of cloning? Dear students, today the topic under discussion is cloning in plants. In this slide I am giving you a brief introduction about cloning in plants. Plants cloning is a major breakthrough in the field of biology. It is the process in which a genetically identical plant is created from another plant. The clone will possess the same attributes and features as the adult plant. Plant cloning can occur by Two processes naturally means by nature artificial cloning or man made. Dear students, in this slide we will discuss what is cloning in plants. Clones are genetically identical. Organisms cloning can occur naturally in plants. Today, cloning is a high tech business. A lot of commercial plant growers use this technique to produce large numbers of plants in a short period of time. Dear students, now we will discuss about the types of cloning which are natural clones and artificial clones. First, we will describe natural clones. Many plants as well as being able to produce seeds are able to reproduce by growing new parts which can live as separate plants. This is called asexual reproduction because no gametes are involved. The new plants are the exact copies of the parent plant. Dear students, hope you are getting my points in this slide. You are viewing a diagram of strawberry plant. You can see the stems of plants are spread over the ground. Strawberries send out special stems called runners that spread over the ground. New strawberry plants grow at the tips of these stems. Dear students, in this slide you are viewing the potato plant. Some Stems of potato plant grow underground and become swollen with stored food. The swelling is a potato or tuber. If a tuber is planted, new plants grow from buds which are called the eyes. Dear students, now we are discussing about the example of bulbs. Bulbs such as onions are large underground buds with swollen leaves full of food. Each year new bulbs grow inside the old one. Dear students, humans have grown plants asexually for hundreds of years by cutting pieces of plants they like and growing them into new plants. This procedure is known as propagation. The new plants are called cutting. In this slide you can view the cutting of geranium plant with established root system. This geranium cutting was cut from the stem of a larger plant. Dear students, here is the example of some plants which can be grown by leaf. Cutting leaf cuttings are placed in growth medium and providing them proper growing conditions then they will grow into a new plant. Dear students in this slide you can view the cuttings of apple tree apple. Three cuttings grow by being grafted onto the stem of a healthy plant. Dear students in this slide we are discussing about cloning of plants. Naturally naturally the cloning of plants has been going on in the world for thousands of years and can still be seen today. Plants send out a shoot like structure which then grows into two separate but genetically identical. Plants vegetation propagation is a cloning technique famous among farmers. This is a process in which a plant can be cloned simply by taking a cutting of the plant such as a twig or stem and planting it. Natural cloning is one of safest ways to clone a plant without endangering any lives. Dear students, in this slide we are discussing about cloning of plants artificial and artificial cloning plant s are forced to go against their normal growth behavior and grow with the help of chemicals to make two genetically identical plants in a laboratory. The most common process of artificial plant cloning is referred to as tissue culture. Tissue culture starts by using a Small piece of plant such as a bud leaf segment or root segment it is grown in a test tube on a substance that provides nutrients it is then chemically treated to produce shoots buds from each of these shoots can then be separated to grow more shoots and the shoots are then treated to grow roots so that they develop into whole plants. Dear students in this slide we are discussing about the pros of cloning plants there are many beneficial aspects which plant cloning 
provides a society plant cloning is the reason why fruits and vegetables are readily available and affordable in markets. Plant cloning allows gardeners to acquire certain characteristics for their plants. Plant cloning is also very useful in the prevention of plant diseases through tissue culture. Plant cloning is said to have produced more nutrient-rich fruits than normal plants. Dear students, in this slide you are viewing the pictures of the mass production of fruits and vegetables plants grown with certain traits fruits produced by plant cloning are nutrients rich. Dear students, the cons of cloning plants are discussed in this slide. Cloning plant also comes with its negative aspects. The cons include plant cloning works against the rules of nature. All clones become vulnerable to a disease that affects the original plant goes against the teaching of religious groups. If gardeners were to choose which plants to grow, it would reduce the variety of plants. Cloning plants is expensive. Dear students, in this slide you can view the pictures of clone plants. All clones become vulnerable to a disease that affects the original plant. Most people are against cloning of plants. Cloning of plants is expensive. This issue is a very controversial topic as it has two strong groups for and against this issue. The world has barely scratched the surface of plant cloning for scientists such as ourselves. We are keen on further researching this fascinating development. Through more research we will hopefully be able to discover other beneficial aspects of plant cloning. Dear students your homework is listen the lesson carefully notedow and all important points discussed in Lesson complete the worksheet. Provided learn the worksheet. Thanks.